Well, in a new movie out this month, Never Again follows a Holocaust survivor and a former radical Islamist as they come together in a cutting-edge feature link documentary exposing and combating the alarming increase in anti-Semitism around the globe. The film's director, Rick Eldridge, along with one of its main subjects, Kasim Hafiz, join us today. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the title. It's called Never Again. So where did that come from? Well, Never Again is a phrase that uh, you, you hear often in the Jewish community relating back to the Holocaust. Uh, and it's the, an exclamation of this could never happen again. And uh, we added a comma, a, a question mark to this because it is happening in our world today. We see anti-Semitism rising in many different ways. And so the, the thought is really, could this happen again? And we explore that in the, in the course of our film. Absolutely. And you pointed out a, a really alarming percentage of the number of Americans that don't really know about the 6 million Jews that died in the Holocaust. There's sadly a lack of education today about the Holocaust, um, a lack of di real discussion about it. Also, I think there is, apathy among many people if it doesn't affect them or hasn't affected them there's just it's out of sight and out of mind and it's it's sad because we live in a society where everything is so fast-paced and you know somebody can be all over the headlines for two weeks and they disappear and our attention spans have gone that way too but the danger of that is when these major things happen in history and we see signs of them raising again like the rising anti-semitism we're not equipped with knowing the history and knowing where these things lead. So we see them very much in isolation, which is sad and dangerous. Absolutely. So why now? Why is this the time to go ahead and document this? Well, I think uh, the, the story, uh, as, as we tell it, with the uh, two very diverse, very different individuals, uh, we see their path. We see Irving Roth, the Holocaust survivor, uh, you know, go from his home in Khomeini uh, onto a cattle car off to a place called Auschwitz. Uh, and we, we experienced that again as we, we were in six countries around the world shooting this. Uh, we, we went with him there. Uh, we went with Kasim back to Israel and, and experienced uh, really the transformation of his life as he began to understand culture. He understood the Jewish people better and why do I want to kill these people? Why have I been taught my entire life? Uh, hopefully now means we can start to ask the questions about the differences of those around us and, and not be fearful, not be uh, questioning uh, them as their, as their differences, but accepting and maybe even celebrating to some extent the differences in those around us and what we can learn from them. And if we look at our world today, we look at the news today, uh, I think it's a very needed message. It's a message about love and not hate for the people around us. And, and Kasim, you know all about growing up and having that hate embedded in you, correct? Yeah, that's right. I grew up with a strong level of hatred towards the Jewish people, towards the West in general, although I grew up in the UK. And this movie really documents that transformation from growing up with that and, and how a young person absorbs these messages of hate and they then become the reality of that. And like Rick mentioned, we went to Israel and really retraced my steps, my first trip to Israel and how that really changed the trajectory of my life. Absolutely. So I think this is just one great example of what's being done to really get the message out there and to go against this violence, right? That's right. Absolutely. I think we, we, we can celebrate and learn so much from each other and uh, you know, the, the different beliefs, the different, the, the, we look different, but there are so many things that, that, that we can learn from each other and, and we're so much alike in so many other ways. So uh, I think this message of love, not hate, through the example of, of, of what happened uh, uh, in, in this case with Israel is very, very, very important for today. And for both of you, I guess, working with a Holocaust survivor, how does this really open your eyes to everything? I think knowing Irving, his experiences and the horrific things that he endured as a child. I mean, it's really shocking when you hear the personal accounts of somebody 
and what was done to him as a child. And, you know, these by grown adults who thought they were doing the right thing, but also seeing Irving today and his love of life and just the incredible human being that he is, it really captivates that story of even from these awful experiences, the light and hope that emerges from it. I think sometimes, I mean, when, when things are in danger of being taken away from you is when you really begin to understand how much they mean to you. And uh, Irving does have a, 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 you see this in the movie, here's this 90-something-year-old man who uh, has more energy than most. And, 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 and there's a love of life and, and uh, you know, the, the gift that he's been given of life. Uh, and it's, it's, it's something that's intoxicating. You, you catch it and you see it. Uh, and feel it, I think, through the, the course of the film. Who would you encourage to see this? Well, it's a film that we made for the family. I, I think it's very important that, uh, you know, parents bring their children, that, uh, you know, teenagers, uh, adults of all kinds can come together. And, and I think there's, there's a lot to take away from this. And uh, as a filmmaker, what I would hope is that you'll see a movie like this and then go, uh, you know, have a have a milkshake or have a cup of coffee and and talk about these things and 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 learn from these experiences and these stories that we hear. Uh, we specifically made this film uh, for the family for for all to see. All right, and once again, so viewers are going to walk away with with what from this? They're going to see two very parallel stories. Um, one of Irving's and one of mine, and they will learn about the horrors of the Holocaust. They will learn the dangers of indoctrination and that that indoctrination and hatred isn't, you know, confined to the 1930s. It's still happening today. And just the power of love and connection over hatred and the toxicity that that brings with it. And also, I hope they walk away with it looking at that situation and implementing changes in their own lives, but also speaking out against wrong. When they see hatred or bigotry, that they go, this is unacceptable, and they want to make a, a positive impact on their communities, on their cities, on their countries, and on the world in general. Well, with that, that will be our final note today. I want to thank you so much for your time, and never again will be in select theaters nationwide October 13th and 15th. Have a great day.